morning, everybody. It's Corey. I'm here to talk about my Franklin Covey planner and how I have it set up. This is the first of three videos I'm going to be doing about the types of planners I've been using. Um, the one I'm currently working with is bullet journaling, and that will be in video number three. But I've had a lot of requests on Facebook for to see how I set up my Franklin Covey planner. So let's get started. Um, this is my Franklin Covey Sierra. She is about two inches thick and it, there's a little pocket up front and that is just so great for sticking papers in when I'm running out the door. And it's just fantastic. When you open it up, it has a uh, business card holders right here on the front of the secretarial pocket and behind the secretarial pocket I've just got those stickers to reinforce uh, the holes in paper and some more paper that I've punched to fit in the seven rings. I don't have a dashboard per se. Um, I don't really use one but uh, this is a I love autumn and I love fall leaves so I went and bought some scrapbook paper and made my own dividers and they're not punched they're in those the smaller page protectors you can get these from staples and behind that divider is just like that general reference section and some business cards for some friends of mine that also have businesses so that's the general reference section that every planner comes with uh, the, the rest of the sections, because I'm not currently using my Franklin Covey, um, I've cleared them all out so that when I do start using it again, it's ready, it's fresh, blank paper, ready to go. Uh, but this is another divider I made, uh, rose paper. The sections also have the, the small pockets that I bought from Staples, and those are really handy for smaller slips of paper that would get lost in the secretarial pocket or in the front pocket and each section has one so I can stick the little pieces of paper in their appropriate section. Another divider that I made on the back it's I cut the I love you paper off <laughs> so it's sideways. Uh, another pocket, more paper, another divider, another pocket, no paper. Um, another divider, another pocket, and more paper. Alright, now we're getting to the calendar part. And like I said, I don't use this one currently. I stopped using it about mid-January. Uh, I've been using my Franklin Cubby all last fall. And in January, I suddenly decided that I needed something a little bigger. And that will be my video about my need flex binder which will be the next video and, but just to show you how uh, the calendar looks in this um, I flipped it to March this week in March and the inserts I use are the Franklin Clubby Looms inserts they're columnar yeah, it's coming up nicely and um, it's got nice little to-do list down here bookmark and they're just really pretty inserts this is my bookmark um, just the standard one that comes with it uh, this is a magnetic 31 bookmark that I just flipped over it to because these pages are so heavy and I can fill this uh, planner so full it's really nice to have a sturdier item on, to use on the bookmark and then the rest of the planner is just more of the months. Um, and in the back, it has space for I can put a notepad if I choose. Um, and there are pen loops on each side. There's one right here. There it is. The one right there. And then there's one on the other side. I just should have pointed that out at the beginning of the video. And I can tell you from experience that you can put three Sharpie pens by their, by their clips. 
on each pen loop. So you have the option for up to six pens to carry around in your planner. This is a fantastic little planner. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, I just needed something a little more flexible for me, both literally and figuratively. Right now, um, if you haven't seen my product review of the Mead Shopping Organize Her uh, binder notebook, it's this. And what I love about it is that I can flip it like this, like a spiral notebook, and I can add paper to it. That to me is something that I've, I've loved about the Mead Flex products <clears throat> for years, excuse me. And that's what I needed. And uh, that's what I'm currently using right now. But this was my Franklin Cubby. I am keeping it on hand in case I ever need something to look a little more professional um, or I just get tired of flexibility and want something more sturdy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to reset and start my next one, which is going to be about my big eight and a half by 11 Mead Flex binder that I turned into a planner. So um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.